on that cross Accused in absence of wrong Sin washed away in your blood Too much to make sense of it all I know that your love breaks my Scandal of grace, you died in my place, so my soul will live. Oh, to be like you, give all I have just to know you. Jesus, there's no one beside you. Forever open my
us there's no one beside you forever the hope in my heart forever Why Good Friday? What was good about Good Friday? It was Good Friday when the religious leaders met for the exclusive reason to plot Jesus' death. It was Good Friday when the religious leaders made their false accusations against the Lord. It was Good Friday when the crowd who played a major role in the release of Barabbas shouted with absolutely no compassion for Jesus, Crucify him! Crucify him! It was Good Friday when the soldiers stripped Jesus and flogged him with a lead-tipped whip, robed him with a scarlet robe. It was Good Friday when they spat on him and struck him and led him to be crucified, forcing him to carry a cross until he couldn't carry it any longer. It was Good Friday when they nailed him to the cross. It was Good Friday when people walking by mocked, scoffed, and ridiculed him. Jesus hung there in intense suffering for the last few hours before his death. It was Good Friday when the premature darkness covered the whole land 
and Jesus shouted out before breathing his last breath. Good Friday was the worst day of his life. What was good about Good Friday? Love. Love. Jesus said, No greater love has a man than this, than to lay his life down for his friends. God demonstrates his love toward us. While we were still sinners, Christ died. Good Friday is the greatest display of the love of God for you. Through all of the ugliness of what happened to Jesus on that dark Friday, the beauty of the great love of God for us shines forth like radiant beams of the sun's powerful light. God our Savior demonstrated His love on Good Friday. So what's so good about Good Friday? Love. God's love for you. God's love for me. That's what makes Good Friday so good. On this Good Friday, may you be reminded of the great love that God has towards you. And may your spirit be filled with the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In just a few minutes, we'll be partaking of the elements which represent the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Paul, in writing to the Corinthians, he said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, for I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. This is a time for a self-examination, a time where you do an internal assessment. And anything that needs to be dealt with or resolved in your heart, now is the time to go to our merciful Savior who shed his blood on the cross for our sins and ask him for forgiveness. It's also a time to worship the Lord and, and to just show and express your adoration for him. I'm going to give you that time. There's going to be a closing song and as the song is being shared, take that time and just partake of the elements as the Spirit of God leads you. God bless you and remember that the Lord is always with you. See you.